A student is given a metal sphere about the size of a softball and asked to identify what type of metal it's made of. It has a radius of 5.00 centimeters and a mass of 5.915 kilograms. So, we it, so we're asked, is it aluminum, zinc, iron, silver, lead, or platinum? Okay, so what we gotta do here is identify what type of metal this big sphere is made of. How are we gonna do that? Well, it turns out that each type of metal has a different density, okay? So the density of a metal is sort of like the fingerprint of it. So if, if you take something that's made of metal and you don't know what kind of metal it is, you can measure the density and then you can match it up here and you can figure out what type of metal is it based on its density. So in order to get density, we're going to have to do the mass of the sphere divided by the volume of the sphere. Uh, the mass we know to be uh, 5.915 kilograms. So there's mass. How do we get the volume? The problem doesn't tell us what the volume is. It only says that it has a radius of 5 centimeters. There is a, a relatively straightforward equation to figure out the volume of a sphere. And it is 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. And so this is the equation that we're going to have to use to figure out the volume of this sphere. Okay, so let's figure out, oh, I'm sorry. So then we'll have volume and then we can figure out the density. So let's start by solving for the volume of this, uh, of this sphere here. Okay, we are going to do uh, 4 thirds times pi times r cubed, which is going to be 5.00 cubic centimeters, I'm sorry, which is going to be 5.00 centimeters cubed, just like that. And that is going to give us 523.5987 cubic centimeters. So I've got three sig figs here, four thirds and pi, we don't worry about the sig figs there, so I'm going to round this to 524 cubic centimeters, and this is the number that I'll use for volume from now on. So anyway, so now we know the volume of the sphere, 524 cubic centimeters. Now the next step is to figure out what the, uh, what the density is. So we're going to need to uh, use the mass. Now when we do densities, notice that they are all reported in grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, so this mass is in kilograms. So we're going to have to convert the kilograms to grams in order to, uh, to figure out what the density is. So we'll start with uh, 5.915 kilograms. And I'm going to need to multiply that by a conversion factor that gets rid of the kilograms. So one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. And that means that I can write these two conversion factors to go between grams and kilograms. Which of these conversion factors am I going to want to use for this here? I'm going to want to use the one that gets rid of kilograms, which are on the top here. So I'm going to choose the one that has kilograms on the bottom here. Okay? So we will uh, we'll use this one. And now I can multiply these together. Kilograms, kilograms, they cancel out, and I'm left with grams. So all I have to do is multiply this by 1,000, and I get 5,915 grams. There's a mass, there's a volume. So now to find the density, I've got to take the mass, 5,915 grams, and divide it by the volume, 424 cubic centimeters. I'm going to have to move over here to put the answer. And when I do that, the density here that I'm going to get is 11 11.2881. I'll round this to three significant figures because I have three sig figs here and four sig figs here. So I'm going to round this to 11.3. What are the units? Grams over centimeters cubed. So that is the density over on this side. Now, now I know what the density of the metal in the sphere is. So now I can figure out what type of metal it is. So we've got aluminum, zinc, iron, all these. And it looks like it's pretty close to lead. Lead is 11.36, 
and here I've got 11.3. So that means that this sphere is made of lead. And that's probably a good thing, because if you had a sphere of platinum the size of a softball, I have a feeling that it, it would make it out of the class in somebody's backpack. That would be worth a ton of money. So anyway, we can determine what type of metal something is made of by calculating its density. And to do that here, we had to use the equation for a volume of a sphere to get that volume. Then we had to convert from kilograms to grams to figure out what the mass of this uh, piece of metal was. And then finally, we can do the density with mass divided by volume and compare this to the densities of all of these guys. You can find these densities in a book or on the internet.